Hey, I'm Christine, back for another Just the Tip Tuesday, along with Nisha McKenzie. Hello, Nisha. Hi, Christine. <laughs> and we also have with us again, Heather Alberta. She's a certified sex educator with the Ottawa County Health Department. Thanks and for having me again. Yeah, yes, of course. Thanks thank for being you. here again. Last week, we talked about, um, well, September Sexual Awareness Month, Sexual Health Awareness yeah. Month, and we talked a lot about STDs and um, just basically how to be safe and talking to your partners and we're kind of going to continue that and you said that there's a um off camera that there's a lot of is it misconceptions lots of people assume again that if someone has an std they're going to be able to just know and have like these signs and symptoms because that's one of the kind of the debbie downers about stis in general is that a lot of times there aren't going to be any signs or symptoms people may have a chlamydia infection for both males and females mm -hmm. and have it for weeks or even months and not even know it because they don't have anything that's irregular discharge or bleeding in between wow. periods or burning during your when they go to the bathroom um, and the same thing holds true for genital herpes and genital warts, the viral infections. Um, it may be weeks, months, or even years before they show symptoms. As we mentioned um, in last week's video that it's so important to be routine with your checkups. Yeah, and just making it part of your annual physical. Right? Yes. Like kind of doing that every year, so kind of getting the routine of just doing that, so it kind of becomes that good habit. Yeah, that. right. And one thing I would like to interject there is when I see people annually for their physicals, mm -hmm. um, very seldom do people ask me for that. So I'll no. usually say, you know, can I do any STI testing any mm -hmm. today? Would you like any STI testing? When's the last time you had STI mm -hmm. testing? Um, but so often women don't know. They don't know that they're supposed to have testing and then they don't know what their insurance covers. Mm -hmm. Blue Cross Blue Shield, for example, is just an umbrella term. There are yeah, bajillions right. of different plans under so there. So many. So learn your coverage, find out before you go to your physical, call them and say, hey, can I have STI screening? What's it gonna cost me? Right. Also yeah. don't say, is it covered? say what's it gonna cost me. So always find out your insurance, find out what's covered, how much you have to pay out of pocket for it, and specifically, can I have HIV testing, can I have syphilis testing, can I have gonorrhea, chlamydia, and trichomonas yep. testing. So if we take out the bacterial ones that, you know, some people will tell me, which you know, kind of makes me take a deep breath, but like, if I'm gonna get one, I want that one, right? Because, right. Um, because it can go away. Because treated and easily right. cured, right? So, so the bacterial, bacterial ones bacterial. are the ones where you can like get chlamydia. antibiotics. Yes, yes. 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 And so chlamydia, gonorrhea, it's gonna be oral antibiotics, so we can give a shot mm -hmm. uh, of antibiotics. And the one thing I wanted to mention too about chlamydia and gonorrhea in particular is that if even if somebody it doesn't, if they do have it, when they don't know it, or they get it over and over again, it can actually lead to pelvic inflammatory disease as oh, well, wow. and have irreversible damage done to the reproductive system. So even though it's easily treatable and easily cured, and we can test for it as easy as with a urine, um, a urine specimen, that there can be irreversible damage done to the body if someone doesn't get, yeah. get it treated. And the infection causes inflammation, yeah, mm -hmm. and so it can cause scar tissue in the tubes. Wow, and then the egg can't get through to drop to get fertilized. That's really scary. Yeah. So that's Please get tested. To have yes. that. That's why it's important to have testing, even if you don't want to have babies. PID can be, it can be really a terrible disease. It mm -hmm. can cause systemic infection. It can cause hospitalizations. Um, and so we don't, you know, we want to avoid that. Yeah. The CDC actually requires um, gonorrhea and chlamydia testing for everyone yes. under the age of 26. So when we look at the viral infection, so the hepatitis, the HIV, herpes, um, genital warts, or HPV, sometimes we have it referred to, um, they're gonna be viral infections. So once somebody contracts them, they're more than likely gonna have them for the remainder of their life. Span. Yeah. So if somebody contracts genital or herpes when they're, let's say, 27, they're gonna have it when they're 87. They may not always have signs and symptoms or visible herpes on their body, um, but they're gonna have that virus living inside their body for their, for their specific lifespan. So there are gonna be treatments that are gonna be available to help with the burning, the itching, the number of outbreaks that they have, but there's not gonna be a cure like what we see with the bacterial infections. Mm -hmm. So it goes more into the treatment. How do you maintain? Um, and depending on which sexually transmitted infection that person has, kind of how does that work in, in their specific lifestyle? How are you going to treat that for them? Okay. Um, and then okay. their partners as well. It can take sometimes weeks, months, or even years for them to develop their first outbreak. Wow. Um, simply because it is a viral infection. So our body spends a lot of time like suppressing that something may happen in their lifestyle change. Maybe they you know, have this exam week, or they just broke up from a relationship, or something really traumatic happened, mm -hmm. and so they're stressed out, and that will produce an outbreak in somebody as well. Right. Um, so it even just goes back to just knowing their own bodies and kind of how they're working. Um, luckily, when we think about HPV in general, 
um, or genital wart so people can get their HPV vaccine, so we can help you know, reduce the risk of people getting HPV, protecting them against cervical cancer. Um, so if people are between the ages of 9 and 26, they're able to get their HPV vaccine, which is now only two doses instead of the three, it's only two that they can get. So that's um, if they start before they're 14, right? Correct, yep. Okay. And dudes can get this. Yes. So, so shoot the vectors. Yeah, now. all the commercials right? now, there's, yes. there's yes. like a 12-year-old boy just, yeah. who it's says like, mom, dad, yeah. why didn't you get me the vaccine? I know that they're, they're also transmitting this virus and yes. it, it is a worldwide issue yes. and it can cause cancer. And you know, the hard thing to think about is people, you know, go, I don't, my, my 11 year old isn't having sex and hallelujah, I'm glad. Yes. My 11 year old's but, not having sex either, Holly, you know, great. Yeah. But you know, there's those things that you just don't want to think about mm -hmm. in life. And these are the things that are hard to say to people in an, in an office yep. setting, but it's, it's true. It's, there's, there's issues with abuse and rape and, um, and then, you know, even if you're in a relationship later with, that you think you're monogamous and your partner doesn't, like mm -hmm. we talked about last time, um, there's, there's divorce, there's death, um, there's new partners that might happen. There's, you can't plan life. That's true. Right? And if there's one thing that can be in place prior to the things that you don't plan that hopefully never happen mm -hmm. to any of us, but just happen yep. to some of us, right? Then, then let's put those in place and protect us. Yeah. You know? And it's just like buying insurance. And I, think, and I think it's also an opportunity is for parents from that perspective is this is a great time to use it as a teachable moment. So to reinforce what your family feels about sex and their values around sex and sexuality. Mm -hmm. It's not giving their child permission to engage in sexual activity, but again, going back to saying that I think that your sexual health is really, really important. As mm -hmm. you grow older, it should be important to you as well. well the other distinction to make <coughs> is there's low risk HPV and mm -hmm. there's high risk HPV. Okay. And so the low risk HPV cause genital warts, mm -hmm. but also the warts won't cause cancer. So then, Jumping in real quick, I guess this is where a confusion can come from. Difference yes. between genital warts and herpes. Right, two different viral infections. Yeah. Typically, the, the warts are raised, kind of fleshy little, they're, they're just raised, flesh, mm -hmm. like a skin tag almost. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then um, herpes will typically look like an ulceration. Oh. Herpes is painful. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I think that it's important to distinguish herpes and HPV. Um, as well as HIV. We haven't really talked right. much about that yet. Um, but now we know that, again, everyone is, if people are engaged in sexual activity, they're going to be at risk for, yep. for HIV as well. So it goes back to knowing your partner, knowing that status. And now, if someone has, been, um, has a partner who is HIV positive, they can seek out um, with a physician to prescribe what's called PrEP, mm -hmm. which is kind of like it's a once a day pill, just like if someone was on birth control, they right. have to get it every single day. Um, and the pill can help protect them against getting the HIV infection. What is it, like 99% effective? Yes. Wow, effective. that's it's unbelievable. Effective. Is that one of those um, infections that you feel like, or virus rather, um, that you feel like people, that should be a yearly checkup as well? Almost oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah, kind of mm -hmm. So just as, Im yeah. just as important to be up on that, yeah. just as much as the, uh, the bacterial mm -hmm. infection. And I have to say that it's disconcerting sometimes. I hear stories about people that go into doctor's offices and they feel judged because they're asking for these testing and I just want to apologize if that's happened to you that shouldn't happen so don't feel scared please to ask, no, ask don't and, and don't let us scare you <laughs> we're yeah. not here to scare you we don't mean to and scare if we people. are scaring you tell us tell me we yes. want to change the, our yes. tactic in terms of how yes. we're addressing the issue or speaking to you so our tip or just the tip you want to oh. take that so yeah, I think it goes back to again getting tested mm -hmm. getting your vaccine knowing what's out there and get comfortable talking to your partner yep. about yes. your status. Mm -hmm. um, find a way to become comfortable with that. Get online, yep. look at forums, look at blogs, ask your write health them care a provider. Note. Yeah, write them a note. Ask your sex educator, ask your sex counselor, ask your sex therapist. Yep. Find out, you know, how do I have this conversation that's really maybe difficult to have that might have so many more underpinnings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I really just want to say, hey, Here's my results. Can you show me yours? Yep. Okay, let's go do this. Yep. So thanks for joining us yes, again, Heather. You. You've thank been a you. wealth of information. Thank Even though this is West Michigan, we do have sexual health services here. Yes. And good so ones. West Michigan is pretty awesome in so many ways, and it's becoming even more awesome yep. in its sexual health providers. It shouldn't be anything that's uh, that taboo. Taboo. Yeah. It should, it's your sexual health. Yep. Yeah. Keyword right. health. Yep. Right. It shouldn't it's even important. have to be called sexual health. It should yeah. just be called health. Yeah. Your health. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. This has yeah, been very, you. very informative. Great. Thank you. Thank you.